Hello everyone, thanks for clicking. This video is about the difference between the serous and the mucous acne. So where are the cells are present and how they are working? What are the functions of these cells and what are the difference between these cells? We are going to learn about this. So we can see here in the picture it is a salivary gland. It contains serous acne and the mucous acne in case of mixed gland, right? Uh, that is in the submandibular gland whereas parotid is a pure serous, serous gland and whereas mm -hmm. sublingual is mucous acne. This is a mixed gland, submandibular gland is a mixed gland where we can see both serous acne and the mucous acne. So we will see about what are the difference between these cells. Okay, The mucous acne are elliptical in shape. The first difference is this is the mucus acne. We can say it is elliptical in shape, right? So this mucus acne are elliptical in shape. Whereas serous acne are round or spherical in shape. This is the serous acne and it is spherical in shape, right? This acne are spherical in shape. And this mucus acne has pyramidal shaped cells. This is the acne and the cells in the acne are pyramidal in shape. Right? These are the pyramidal shaped cells. It contains pyramidal cells. And coming to serous, these also contain pyramidal shaped cells with narrow apex. with narrow apex in the picture we can see these are also a pyramidal shape with a narrow apex here right and the other difference between these these cells are uh, the mucus cells have flattened nucleus at the base these are the mucus cells and it has nucleus at the base right and it is flattened so it has flat nucleus at base the serous cell contains the nucleus it is spherical nucleus that is also present near the basal one third here the nucleus is not so flat and it is spherical and it is present in the basal one third right this is the basal one third area the nucleus is spherical in shape Another difference between these two are mucus acne is large whereas serous acne is small. See in the picture we can see it is elliptical and it is somewhat larger than the serous acne right. And one more difference between these two are in the mucus acne there is no intercellular canaliculi. intercellular canaliculi is absent but in the serous it is present is present in the picture what is intercellular canaliculi means see this is a star shaped is called intercellular canaliculi Whereas it is absent in the mucus acne. The other difference of mucus cells are they stain weakly with H and E. Stain is weak with H and E. But serous cells have strong stain with H and E. It has it will be strongly stained with H and E. And also, mucus cells doesn't secrete any enzymes. So, there is no enzymatic activity in the secretion. So, no enzymatic activity in the 
secretions. Whereas the serous cells secretion is in enzymatic activity. The apical region of the mucus cells is mucus cells doesn't contain any eosinophilic granules, so there are no granules in the mucus cells. Whereas in the serous cells there are zymogen granules. These are eosinophilic, which stains eosinophilic. And last, mucus cells secrete more carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are more. And serous cells produce more proteins than carbohydrates. So these are some differences between the mucus and the serous cells. Thank you. Keep watching.